Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. One of the very prime foundations of life is the idea of loss. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he talks about loss in the Quran. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam speaks about loss as well in his prophetic narrations. And what we learn about loss from Islam as a whole is that it is a moment of rebirth. It is a moment where you metamorphosize, biologically speaking, or even physiologically speaking, from one person that you've known yourself to be to another person that you've never known of yourself that could be. And that's the beauty with Islam, brothers and sisters, is that we don't know what is best for us. We don't know what loss is going to give us the best of our lives. We don't know what loss it is that we must go through in order for Allah Azza wa Jal to bestow and to bequeath us with what we have never seen in ourselves just yet. And so the next time you think about loss and you're very upset about your own personal losses and you're taken aback by the setbacks that life has put you through, always remember, it's not an opportunity that's meant to put you back. It's not an opportunity that's meant to siphon the best out of you. It is an opportunity that's meant for you to become more alert about where you could have done better and where you could grow under one prete pretext, and that is to see the best in yourself. Because without losses, we don't see the value in ourselves and the value of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is why the Prophet والسلام, he tells us that there is not a believer that leaves something for the sake of Allah, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaces it and gives you better than what you have never seen in yourself before. So loss is not a loss in and, in and of itself subjectively. Loss in and of itself objectively is the idea of losing one thing that you thought was the best for something so great that you've never seen ever before. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to accept loss with mercy and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to accept loss with contentment and may we always be content with whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings our way. Allahumma ameen ya rabbil alameen.